Hey friends, it's Travplay, and today I'm going to show you how to beat King DDD. Keep in mind that my guide won't cover everything, and in the end, usually the better player will win most matchups. But these tips and visual examples will improve your character knowledge, so you'll know what to look out for. For competitive stage picking, I'd recommend platforms because they can help you avoid the Gordos. And as for counter picking, King DDD is weak against quick characters who also have effective projectiles and DDD is strong against slow characters without projectiles. Most pros rank King DDD as low tier. Now to help you consistently beat King DDD, I'll show you moves to respect and when weaknesses to exploit. Let's get right into it. The first thing you need to respect is King DDD's Crouch. The reason you probably clicked on this video is to find out what I had to say about King DDD's Gordos. Well, I understand why. The Gordos give me a major headache too. Here are some options on how to deal with an oncoming Gordo. First, shield it. This may be the best option because it makes the Gordo vanish, but this comes with a caveat. If DDD is close, he could grab you out of your shield. Also, if your shield is low, the Gordo could poke you. Second, hit it. As long as you hit it with an attack that deals at least 2% damage, it will reflect the Gordo, which can now hit King DDD. But this option is very risky, because you could miss the Gordo and get hit instead. And that's why it's best to hit with a large disjointed attack like a sword or a projectile. But then there's another problem. There's a good chance King DDD will anticipate you to hit the Gordo back. He can hit it, inhale it, or even reuse his side special to catch it and slug it back at you. Third, avoid it. Instead of staying back to deal with the Gordo, you can just jump over it. This is great because it keeps you in an offensive position, but jumping over it can also be risky because DDD can change up how high he initially hits the Gordo, making it hard to predict how high you need to jump. This is where the mind games come in. I recommend mixing up these three options to keep DDD guessing what you're gonna do. And each character is different, so let me know in the comments below how you like to deal with the Gordos with your main. Oh, and you know, don't get hit. Next, you need to respect King DDD's ledge trapping gimmicks. Usually, he'll lob a Gordo to advance slowly toward the ledge, and he's just standing there waiting for you to roll toward him so he can smash you. There are a lot of things you can do here, and it depends on your character, but here are some general options. First, get up attack. I believe this is the best option because if you time it right, you can hit the Gordo back at DDD. But this can be hard to time right, especially online, and if you do too often, DDD can catch on and counter it. Second, jump get up. This is a great option because it can get you into a much better position. You just need to time it carefully to get over the Gordo. DDD could counter it with an aerial or an up tilt, so watch out for that. Third, aerial. This is where you let go of the ledge and then air jump onto the stage while throwing out an aerial. This usually gives you a better chance of hitting the Gordo safely. But as always, DDD could counter this too. Fourth, re-grab. I believe this is one of the best defensive options. You drop below the ledge just before the Gordo would hit you, and then re-grab the ledge just as it disappears. You usually then can do a jump get up before the next Gordo comes out. But watch out, if DDD catches onto this, he could dash attack, which smashes you off the ledge when you re-grab it. Fifth, let the Gordo hit you. Not the best option, but also not the worst outcome. I'd rather get hit by the Gordo than DD's hammer. Don't do this if your percentage is high or if you have a bad recovery because when you grab the ledge, you'll be back in the same ledge trapping predicament. Sixth, roll. This is usually a bad option. It's usually a knee-jerk reaction to avoid the Gordo, but DD is there, ready to smash you. However, if you're doing a lot of the options I mentioned earlier, then a roll may be a good mix-up. Seventh, normal get-up. Probably the worst option. The Gordo will usually hit you. It could work as a possible mix-up, but generally avoid this option. Okay, one more thing on ledge trapping. Respect DDD's forward smash. You may think he's too far away, so you can do a normal get-up safely. Not true. His F smash has a shockwave that reaches deceptively farther than you think. So either wait for the move to end before getting up, or jump very, very high over the attack. Whew, that was a long one. Let me know in the comments below what your main can do to trump DDD's ledge traps. Respect DDD's inhale. It can reflect Gordos and projectiles, but not really big projectiles like Zelda's Guardian. He can also use this to cheese you when you're standing at the edge or trying to edge guard him. Don't fall for this. Try to attack him from below or above. On stage, this move has long end lag, so you can easily jump over it and attack DDD from above. The inhale has no effect on your shield, so you could do this.
DDD's Jet Hammer is another one of his mind game gimmicks he'll often use as a ledge trap. If you're not familiar with how this move works, you'll likely lose your stock, so listen up. He can charge the move indefinitely, so no use in just waiting for the move to end. Don't just hang on to the ledge because this move can hit you there. This move also has heavy armor during the swing, resisting up to 14% damage, so don't attack. The absolute best option is to hit him with a projectile from a distance. If you don't have a projectile, then you'll need to bait him into swinging like this. And if you're exceptionally bold, you could risk a grab. This is a move where character knowledge will definitely give you the advantage, so you shouldn't fall over this move ever again. Don't get hammered. Respect DDD's roll, or his down tilt. It's his fastest move, coming out at frame 6. It's a great get off me move. You can anticipate him to use it when you're up close. The best option is to shield it, and then punish quickly. One more gimmick to respect, the Super DDD Jump. Sometimes, even high level gameplay, DDD will use this up special to land on the stage. Don't be under this move hits hard and it will demolish your shield. If you do avoid the attack, don't dash in to punish on the ground because it has a lingering hitbox with those stars coming out. The best option is to punish him from the air right after he lands. It'll work every time if you're close enough. You can also beat this move with an extremely powerful up air or hitting him with a powerful projectile at the apex of his arc. And for all you casual plays out there, here's King Dedede's final smash. I think it's one of the coolest ones. His initial attack is directly in front of him, so don't get close and stay behind him and you're good. Before you get into the weaknesses, please hit the like button and subscribe if you want more content like this. I'd really appreciate it and it helps a ton. Now on to DDD's weaknesses. This is unique, but I believe one of his greatest weaknesses is when you are aware of all of his gimmicks, how they work and how to beat them. DDD relies so heavily on these gimmicks that when he gets to higher level gameplay, he struggles because his opponents rarely fall for all of his tricks. He is forced to drop the gimmicks and fight with his other moves. Now don't get me wrong, I played against some very formidable King DDDs who know when to drop and when to use gimmicks properly, but this guide is designed to help you get to Elite Smash and it should be sufficient for that. King DDD suffers from all the weaknesses that come with being big and slow. He's easy to combo and struggles to punish quickly. He has the slowest air mobility in the game. King DDD's poor mobility leads him to having one of the worst approaches in the game. That's why he relies so heavily on his Gordos and Gimmicks. Other than that, his typical approach is from above. He has four air jumps and will often wait for you to whiff and then punish. But if you play it smart and shield, dodge, or hit him with a projectile or an anti-air, then this completely stops any hope DD has of approaching you. King DDD's recovery is good vertically, but abysmal horizontally. His up special has some heavy armor on the way up. That makes it hard to edge guard, but if you can hit him with a projectile before he gets below the stage, then he'll be in a world of trouble. Also, watch out for when he sticks his Gordo on the side of the stage. It can stay there and hit you multiple times. As long as you avoid his Gordos and inhale off stage, then you can jump out there and stop his horizontal recovery. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and subscribe for more. Also, check out my playlist of how to beat every character in Smash Ultimate. There's a lot of info there. And let me know which character you'd like me to do next. See ya!